with increasing use of cloud and distributed DevOps environment like Docker and Kubernetes, certificates and public key inscription are now essential to ensure secure and authenticated communications. Now, in many startups and companies, it's software engineers or DevOps engineers who are responsible for maintaining and tackling security concerns. However, the world of PKI can be very akin even for technical people who are not expert security engineers. Now, due to this complexity, PKI is very easy to do wrongly and very difficult to do correctly. And that's why we built Step CLI. Step CLI is an open source command line tool that makes building, automating, and operating PKI approachable for non security experts and DevOps professionals. Now, in this video, I'll be telling you more about what you can do with Step CLI. So stay tuned. My name is Linda Ikechukun, and I'm a developer advocate at Small Step Labs. At Small Step, our mission is to make PKI and production identity approachable and easy for all. People who aren't security engineers also need to work with certificates to secure their infrastructure. So we've built tools that make that easy. Step CLI is one of such tools, and if you'd like to know what you can do with it, then come along. Step CLI was built as a client interface for Step CA. Now, Step CA is an open source certificate authority service that you can run yourself. I have a separate video on Step CA that you can watch to learn more about it. However, you can also use Step CLI independently to perform basic crypto operations like everything you need to create and run a local certificate authority. You can use it to inspect and renew certificates. You can use it to generate public and private keepers. You can use it to create and manage JSON web tokens. You can also use it to generate and verify OTPs and so much more. Step CLI can be used in place of OpenSSL for most certificate management tasks. <laughs> in fact, call me bias, but I will rephrase and say Step CLI should be used in place of OpenSSL for most certificate management tasks. Now, why do I say this? Well, the OpenSSL CLI is the de facto old reference implementation of the SSL and TLS protocols. So it is exhaustively flexible and supports every possible option defined for each SSL and TLS standard. Now, because of this exhaustive flexibility, it is challenging for beginners to grasp and incredibly easy to misuse. These are screenshots of complaints that some engineers have made concerning OpenSSL. Now, on the other hand, step CLI commands are more opinionated and limited. You know, we, we don't try to do everything. Instead, we do the right thing for the most common crypto operations and workflows. We keep things simple using same defaults and offer plenty of features that make step CLI easier to use and harder to misuse. And for more advanced use cases, Step CLI can totally be used alongside OpenSSL. So what are you waiting for? To use Step CLI, you need to install it. Now to install Step CLI on the Mac, use the Homebrew installer and simply run brew install step. For installation commands for other OS and setups, visit the link on the screen. You should know Step CLI ships with extensive built in help. So, to see all available options and commands, run Step by itself. Step CLI has three major command groups namely, Step Certificate, Step Crypto, and Step CA. 
Now, running a command in step CNI all follow the convention. Step command group, then sub command, then whatever arguments you may have. Now, let's talk about each command group. First, we have the step certificate command group. The step certificate command group provides command that enable you run a certificate authority locally without needing to spin up a server at all. It also offers lots of tools for working with certificate files. It's futures command to create, revoke, validate, bundle, and just generally everything you need to manage and set up certificates. So here are all the commands within the step certificate command group. Bundle, create, format, inspect, fingerprints, lint. Needs renewal, sign, verify, key, install, and uninstall. The next command group is Step Crypto. The Step Crypto command group features commands for general purpose cryptographic activities. Now, here are all the commands under the Step Crypto command group. Change pass. Keep a JWK. JWT. JWE, JWS. Jose, hash, KDF, key, NACL, and OTP. Lastly, we have the step CA command group. The step CA command group features commands to enable you initialize, administer, and use a step CA certificate authority server. Here are all the step CA sub commands. Help, init, bootstrap, token, Certificate, rekey, renew, result, provisioner, sign, roots, roots, federation, acne, policy, and admin. Now, I know this video will be complete without a demo. So let me show you how you can inspect the certificate with step CLI. In fact, let's inspect the details of the small steps website certificates. Since I have step CLI already installed, I'll just fire up my terminal. The command to do that is step certificate inspect https smallstep.com and voila <laughs> you can see all the certificate details and that's it for this video to learn more about step cli head over to our documentation links in the description and play around with it if you have questions just ask in the comment section and don't forget to join our Discord server of over 500 engineers just like you using Step CLI and Step CA every day. Bye.